Hey, Peppy! Ah. Sigrid, I presume? Cassius warned me of your arrival on the radio. Could you start by freeing my ship? Oh. Don't want to sound selfish, but it would be practical and, well, it's right there. <laughs> oh, wait, journal entries, that's right. Admiral Peppy, Admiral of Candle Hill's own little fleet. Very straightforward in a way that makes me relax a bit. They definitely know what they're doing and talking about. Kirsten Strong... Stromseng? Anyway, mistrustful and loud. She can sometimes be perceived as a bully, but I think her intentions are just. She just does she doesn't seem interested in getting to know me, but I have a feeling she's not too fond of making friends. And we've got other people we should take a look at. Lars. He's skeptical about things and gladly shows it. Fiercely loyal though, if anything happens should if anything should threaten his friends. Little Cassius. And Gunny. Uh, enormous in stature and leader of the Candle Hill crew. They are often referred to as pirates when, in fact, they used to be factory workers at the Dandelion before the war. Cassius himself was the head mechanic. And Gunny. Can handle a gun like an extension of her arm, which made the transition of her birth name, uh, Ganilla, into the nickname Gunny quite a natural outcome. And Junkyard. Simply known as Junkyard by some, she spends her days working at the Candle Hill Scrap Station. She has an aunt who makes ma uh, who builds makeshift spark contraptions. Charlie Billborg. I talked to him a bit when Grandma was busy, and he told me he was facing jail because of bad stock. Something because of bad stock, somethings many years ago. But when the city sank, and there were no courts, no lawyers, no jail. And then, but then the city sank and there were none. Charlie chose to settle at the Candle Hill where nobody knew him. There he started a restaurant. There are a lot of people apparently I guess I've missed so far. Uh, Traval Tagle, obsessed with things related to the shadows, the ghosts found in the deep sea, or in my case, beneath my feet. He seems very eager to understand them better. Most people I've met barely dare admit their existence. And okay. Oh. Fleet You're set out in this direction. Here, no, I live at the night orchard. Old botanical garden, eh? Did some work there with my dad. Watering systems mostly. <laughs> Boy, the man in charge of the garden sure knew a lot about plants. Are are you talking about John Skagarak? That's the one. How did you... Oh my. You're that little blue-haired squirt who always got pricked by the rose thorns. <laughs> You're Iris Sigrid. <sighs> you knew my mom? I did. Thought she was a self-centered little brat. No. <laughs> There's more to that story. I'll get to it once I'm done greasing the engine. Apparently, he doesn't have a good opinion of our, of, a uh, Sigrid's mom. Well, we're looking for the fleet first, so... I guess we'll get the one on the... Nope, the one on the right is closer. Okay. Hmm. You know... I'm not even going to ask what kind of black magic lets you do that. I'm just happy that you found us. One ship coming your way, Peppy. Funky Dory. So, that story uh, about my mom? Oh, right. I met her during my activist years when we campaigned together. What did you campaign for? For the dandelion to be shut down. The workers told some worrying stories, my mom included, about how they were treated. About the side effects of the spark extraction. But people didn't listen, so we tried to make them. Did it work? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Better get back to this. Talk later. Yep, so things are clearly not on the up and up with the dandelion. They were an energy company, to be fair. And, you know, history of energy companies. Wow, 
Thanks a lot. Uh, you, you mentioned you didn't like Mom? That's right. I wrote her off as a privileged rascal looking for attention. Your grandmother was a higher up at the Dandelion after all. But with time, I had to admit to myself that she just cared. It's a hard thing to do to change your mind about someone. I'm glad I was brave enough to do it. She became one of my closest friends. I'm glad to hear she had oh, okay. friends. Went from, yeah, I don't like her, to nope, nope, she's actually a good friend. Also, I now feel the start of that should have been, I used to think she was a, not a, I always thought she was a. Ow. My ailment. Thank you, Water Walker. Another one incoming. I'm ready. Come join us as soon as you have enough sparks, will you? Now we go a spark content, huh? And of course, these little ones won't do. Oh, not getting up there this way. Ooh, maybe we are. That's a switch. I've got the little ones lead you on, lead you properly, just like coins. There we go. Uh, nope, nothing else there. Ah, that's what you activated. wondering how you got up there. Of course, it was going to be pretty obvious. I should have known that. We've got a flag over here and electricity over... I'm going to the electricity first. Oh, that makes sense. Fill the spark tower. Yep. Then what's the flag? Huh. I suspect we'll go to the flag after this. Oh, I thought maybe there was going to be something on top of this house. In fact, there appears to be nothing on top of either of these houses. Oh. After discussing with Miss Gagarak, we both agree that our main focus should be to, to find a spark reactor. With all the spark energy you've gathered, it seems we're all ready to go. No? Yeah. Ready, Captain? Oh. oh, this is our cabin boy, Peter. Huh? At your service, miss. Ah. Nice to meet you, Peter. Huh. Yeah, drop the niceties. Let's get moving before and go grab what we need.
So I assume now we want to go towards the flags because we're escorting them. We are the vanguard of this fleet of ships. Are they following? No, they don't seem to be following. Huh. Well, then what's this flag? It's a person to talk to. Oh, hello. Huh? It's Asa. Here you are. But what's that in your face? <laughs> oh, I see. Just look at someone in need of a new challenge. You up for it, Ziggy Zaggy? Sure, let's try it. That's why I like you. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Come on. was uh, ready for. There we go. Got that this time. Uh, didn't get that one. That might be a problem. Got that. That's good. Didn't get... Okay, we need a restart. Restart. I need to get clocks. There we go. Need to get clocks and need to go fast. There we go, there we go, much better. I didn't get my dive, but I think we should be fine as long as I time that, there we go. Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Come on, get me the clock. There we go. Guys, gals, non-binary non pals, I present to you, Shrimpy the Sharp Shadow Rider. I heard your ground call you that. Shrimpy, it's cute. Your prize, my lady. We get money. And now we should actually probably go do the escorting that we were supposed to be doing. Alright, sorry for that detour fleet. Uh, I do wonder what that paper. Hello? What the paper clip is. Also, uh. Okay, do I have to go around? I must have to go around this way? K. 
can't get around that. Uh, how did I get lost? How did I manage to get myself lost? Uh, can you tell my sense in the sense of directions is terrible? Uh, at least we found the fleet. So cool. Can I try? She's not so fond of strangers, unfortunately. Yeah, I can relate to that. Newcomers rarely mean anything good around here. They don't? Nah. No one from the outside ever gave us stab about the Hill Crew. Only came around when they needed us. You mean, like us? Yeah, I guess. But who gave something back? Chasing off that snake. After the war, people who used to make us work for peanuts and dandelion just keep pouring in. But this time... Peanuts to offer. So we turned them down. Decided to keep to ourselves. It made them real bad. Wait, this must have been way before you were born. Well, unlike all the hill folks who fought in the war, stories don't die. Huh. Mm, I was hoping for a little bit more. But I guess some money's good. Oh, so yeah, learning uh, dandelion. Dandelion was not so good. Oh, that looks slight. Hello, thank you. Nope, it's not new. to use our net to go faster. And possibly miss stuff. to those who fought against the dirty bones and didn't make it back. Oh, who built it? Don't know. Maybe one person. Maybe a hundred. One day it was just there. And people kept adding to it. At least until this area got too gloomed up to be safe. It's mostly stones and scrap parts from the area. But they're placed with love. Um, Grandma? Is this where Grandpa died? Granny? We used to go to the pine forest here before the war, you know. Every fall, me and John to pick chanterelles. I always made him cover his eyes for the last part of the way. It was my secret mushroom place, you see. Secret mushrooms. Okay. Secrets. He would have slipped and told someone if they asked. I'm sure of it. And now, he sleeps here. On a bed of chanterelles. Such unnecessary evil. We can't let this happen again. Well, we also cleaned up the memorial. All right. Let's hope this works. Standing on top of this is probably a bad idea, isn't it? It does, then. This is where the final battle against the Dirty Paws took place. We paid a heavy price, but we finally took them down. Ooh, lore book! Grandma and Grandpa apparently used to pick mushrooms here. 
I guess people visited the mountains when they had days off. We really, we don't really have days off. There's always repairs that need doing on the lighthouse. But sometimes I stay up late and read a book from Granny's library. I've read all, I've read them all so many times by now. Maybe I can borrow some from Peppy. I'm sure their taste is different from Grandma's. beat Stryers, but where are they? Ah, there we go. Wait, no, that's not... There we go. Ow. We just dove right face first into the ground. Whoops. Okay, we were just waiting for the other ships to get here. Are we visiting Rufus? Yeah. He would know where we could find a spark reactor. One of those wrecks gotta have one in working condition. He's not gonna like this. Not fond to visit that man. Especially not in prompt corners. He brought a box of his favorite tea leaves. Hopefully enough for the trade. What Trebled said about the dirty paws, about the whistlers. I've never even heard that name. Who are they? Questions that I suspect will be answered soon. we go. Just hitting wrong buttons. One, two, three, and flourish! Oh wow, I got up here really fast ahead of the ships this time. Okay. I could take a sip of water. Just barely got one. Oh, no. We need to get that poor sod out of there. Mm. What? Peppy, why are you here? What's with the crowd? That gloom wave ran overran all of Strandville. We need re we needed reinforcements. Uh, and now we need stuff. I hear you. I hear you've got a spark reactor. You can't come into my home and just demand things. <laughs> we brought tea leaves. Uh, tea leaves. Hmm. Well, there should still be a working reactor in this ship here. You'll need to clean this place up if you're going to have a shot at getting up there. Uh-huh. Well, Sigrid, get to it! Cleaning up the island. Ooh, hello! 
Money Vault! Uh, hello? There we go. I was gonna say, they, I've gotta have a way up there. That was easier. What? Okay, that was weird, but whatever. Button, button, button. Jump buttons. Thank you to the creator in this world who made the jump buttons. They are actually quite fun. You're new. I think. Maybe not. That's a really big ship of an admiral. Wait. That's the guy who sells us stuff. Okay, I couldn't slam on him. Clear the deck of enemies? Well, those sparks count as enemies, right? You can burn your hands, apparently. Oh, that's the reactor? Okay. This ball is our reactor. Is it, is it breaking with me doing this? No, it's not. No, it was already that level of broken, wasn't it? Okay. I was wondering if I could break through that. Hey, Rufus. All right, that's what we needed. Let's get going. Oh. Hmm. Before you leave. Could, could Water Girl go and clean off my generators as well? I prefer to have my radiator working tonight. Of course, I'll do that. Jiggy, we're in a hurry. Mm. You can go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Uh, well, make it quick. Oh, hi, Guile. My cat's decided now is the time that he wants to start walking on top of me again. You heard the lady. Make it quick. I'll be inside. Well, I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Oh, hi, cat. Hi. Kyle, please. Uh, attack of the cat. What? What does that keep happening? That is like I'm zipping down. So weird. The, the game does not like something I am doing. Okay, let's wait for you to swing over and have my cat not try to get in my way the moment that that happens. There we go. Ah, a bit harder to play with a cat in your lap. Here you go, Kyle. Move the keyboard so he doesn't accidentally hit it. All right. Maybe we will be okay as he 
No, no, maybe not. He's been weird. But hey, one generator active. Let's go get that next one over here. That looks like he's got a nice rail system that we'll be using. Sorry for that. Camera was being weird, and then my nose started being weird. But we can get over here. Uh, camera, stop whatever you're doing. Man, I hope I have enough. Okay, good. I do. That's two down. Let's uh, not hit our head on the uh, sand or rocks this time. I think Sigurd would appreciate that. Big one first. Do I just want to go straight? Yeah, it looks like I just go straight over here. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, I missed something. Such as a cat. I missed a cat that's now attacking me again. Nothing down there. Think up? No, so yeah, it's gotta be this. I must just have messed up. So, one, two. No, no, I cannot be doing this right. 